the Lounge Fire 93. Um, can you tell me the stories of that, the emotion of that, and about the rumours? And I got a phone call from Jennifer, she was her name. Jennifer. Jennifer. She was living and she was, the burger alarm's just gone off. Oh, so I'll, oh, I'll come along. And I came along and I saw the, the smoke and the flames coming out of the roof. Oh, <laughs> sh So I got in the door, right, put the, the, the fire alarm off, and folk didn't get them out of the rooms. And it's quite disconcerting. I had about three or four residents in them knocking on, the hotel's on fire, because they weren't ignoring the fire, ex fire alarm. And, and it's quite, oh, right. I remember the insurance censor coming to see and practically accusing you of setting the place on fire. And I was greeting, because I was kind of, I don't need to set my business on fire. But fortunately, George Peason rebuilt it all in 13 weeks. That in sep September. Well, George, George Peason rebuilt it, rebuilt it. Rebuilt it. George, Robert Elliott did it the first time. And, you and George Peason. Time, do you not? Know? No. No. George Peason, well, he put the new, and I have to say, they did a good job, and uh, they built the new bar. Was that in the September it went on fire? September 11th. Yeah. yeah. And you were opened for Christmas. Uh, we were open Functions. for Christmas. Wow. So happened in September you were opened. But then, I'd had, I had a, that was, I think, Thursday night, I had a wedding on the Saturday. Ooh. But fortunately, it was just this part of the building that was destroyed. The wedding could still go ahead. And then, the lounge that was your, the function room lounge, which was the lounge when you moved in, went back to being the lounge yeah, again. Yeah, but the conservatory thing. never burnt down, and there was only a panel of wood between them. Yeah. I remember, I had some of the stuff I had, I had a, a stuffed crocodile that just dis disappeared in the fire. There was pictures in the wall that disappeared in the fire. And it, what it, I found that very thoughtful, but it, I had to think a lot about that because it, how easy things can go from you in life, and you take things for granted, and how quickly things seem to be taken away from you. And when you redid the lounge, mm -hmm. you decided to put in a stained glass window. Mum, can you tell, talk to me about that? Well, Graham put in the stained glass window and didn't put his own name on it because he doesn't like to show off, would you say? He's thinking about getting it changed, but I think Stuart's, Stuart's well, taking Stuart up the space. Stuart added his paper, his name to the stained glass window, and we've left it there all these years. That's been added in paper for how many years? Ten yeah, yeah. plus? And I won't take it down. No, never. 